Good morning, everyone. Surf Gal, we are playing some more Fantasy Star 4. Um, I ended the last video a little bit wishy-washy on where I was supposed to go next. And I found out that that is totally reasonable because it doesn't do a great job of explaining it. This is actually where the game opens up a little bit. There's several little side paths you can take. The main goal is to get to Zio's Fort, um, but we don't actually know how to get there. And the game doesn't do a, seem to do a great job of telling us. So, rather than worry about that, <laughs> I went and did a little bit of a grind. Uh, I got a few more levels for everybody. The main thing I wanted to get out of this was... Uh, Chaz up to level 9 so that he would get Ryuka, which is the teleport spell. This is going to make it a lot easier as we are doing some of these side quests and doing some exploration to just kind of move around wherever we feel like moving in the moment. Um, the other thing worth mentioning, so we've got the wreckage here, is one of the things that we can go look into. Apparently just the villagers mentioning it that we already went by is all the clue you're getting about it, but that's okay. Um, but the actual next step is over here, as well as the official side quest. So I think we're going to do this. Uh, this is also where the shops are, <laughs> which may be the more important piece. Uh, we did get a few other interesting spells. Hey, Alice, you look as beautiful as usual with your hair fluttering in the wind. W what was that all about? What a geek. Maybe he's being forced to say those things. You guys, what are you talking about over there? So this is Alice's hometown and the headquarters of the guild. This is technically where we started, but we were like brought out of this over to the academy during a cutscene. I recently moved here from Nyla. My wife went to the market and hasn't come back yet. What is she doing? It's not nice to open cabinets in other people's homes without their permission. Lovely little poke at uh, JRPG logic. <laughs> A piece of slime who eloped with my daughter. It still makes me mad when I think about him. Seems like the town of Nyla is in some kind of trouble. I wonder if my daughter's alright. I'm worried. Okay. Sounds glamorous to live in such a big town, but we do get a lot of undesirable hunter types with the guild mall. It's not a very good thing in terms of giving a child an education. She said to the two people that are obviously wearing hunter uniforms. So yeah, the townspeople seem very mixed on hunters. Alice, thank you for giving me that food you cooked the other day. It was delicious. I'll wash the containers and return them. You can cook? People are so unpredictable. <laughs> Cut it out. What's the big deal? Cut up here. We're finally home. Shall we take it easy for the day? So this is Alice's home. And... It is effectively a free inn. Uh, I did stop over here uh, while I was doing my grind because it felt like the smart way to do things. That's strange. I could have sworn I put it away over here. My secret. Oh, what are you guys doing here? I have the decently seated knack. So, secret savings. There's probably something there. Uh, there are a whole bunch of weapon and armor shops in this area. This is the only one we need, though. Um, now, you can see these prices are a lot higher than the ones we've been dealing with, and even with my grind, I do not have enough for what's coming up. Uh, I think we're going to go for two claws.
Okay, I was hoping that we might be able to get enough for the axe there. Let's take a quick look here. So, unfortunately, um, we need several ceramic males here. And these are very expensive. Uh, we could just buy the two ceramic helms right now, I guess, since that's what we've got the cash for. Almost exactly enough. I don't know who hired you, but don't even think about it. Even if you had an infinite number of lives, it wouldn't be enough. Welcome! You've come to the Hunter's Guild, where we enrich the lives of hunters. The enrollment area is over there. If you already joined, I can give you about available job listings. Currently listed are... The ranch owner and the visit of mile. The sandworms at my ranch have become so big that I'm at my wit's end. Please help me. He offered his 5,000 meseta. sure what it is about 16-bit RPGs that they want to put in the little dancing shows, but it seems like a lot of them do. There we go. That would have been enough for the axe, wouldn't it? So yeah, heading back all the way through there, we can find a secret item. Um... I suspect that there are some random NPCs in town that will that would give you some more hints about where you need to go. However, quite frankly, this town is huge. Um, we poked our head in all of the stuff over in the west, and we're barely scraping the, the surface. So I think we're going to continue on here. Now, we're not actually going to mile quite yet. Um, I made that comment, or I signed up for the sandworm, but the sandworm is, I think, going to be more challenging than the wreckage. So I think we're going to do the wreckage first, then prog progress over to the sandworm. I do need to change one of my macros here. And honestly, that's decent XP and money. Um, actually, I think I'll just add... Han picked up the Zan spell, which is the wind multi-target. So I feel like this is going to be a good option. Uh, it also isn't. So the enemies in this area, the machine enemies, are strong against ice and fire, but not wind. So theoretically, uh, unfortunately, he's not fast enough for it to work the way I would like, but that's okay. 
Uh, what are these guys? Warren 286. Uh, same as all the other... Uh, same as all the other... Machine enemies, pretty much. Saner. Uh, Saner is plus agility. So, potential to be useful in some boss fights. We have a ceramic knife, which we could equip on Han or we can sell. There's a ceramic mail. Save us some money. Ceramic mail was the most expensive piece besides Grizz's new axe. That looks scary. Okay, I'm actually gonna go to command here. We're gonna do attack Zan. use res on Han. Rika's very fast, so having her get in there and get that heal off is good. Is Han faster than Chaz now? Is that what I was just picking up from that? Also, holy crap, those things hit hard. Agility 16, 15, oh, 11. I'm not sure why he went first. Oh, well, I'm not going to complain. This, there's lights flashing. I know what it is. Move over, Chaz. Wow, pretty impressive. It's a pretty hard security code to break, but there, now we can access the main computer's memory. Oh, what's this? It looks like it says this is the spaceship that escaped from Parma a thousand years ago. What? Really? But Parma exploded a thousand years ago. Oh, you know about that? Yes, I learned about it at the Academy. 
Karma, the first planet of the Algo solar system, was destroyed in AW1284 when the artificial satellite Gyra crashed into it. Today, the only vestige of Karma is in the asteroid belt. But there were people that were able to escape. According to the records, just before the explosion, some people were able to escape. This spaceship was damaged and became trapped in orbit around Motavia. They floated around in space until all the humans aboard died, but the computer was able to sustain itself with its self-repairing mechanisms. They all died? According to the flight chart, the orbit just slowly decayed over the last thousand years, and it finally crashed. All the Parmanians panicked, perished. Wait, this is not the only ship that escaped from Parma. Similar ships were able to escape successfully. Most of them landed either in Montavia or Dezolus. It looks like some of them went right out of the Algo solar system. I can't get an accurate number, but it looks like tens of ships. So they're continuing their flight somewhere in the universe. So this is really cool because it's not actually... It, it's relevant to the story, but it's not super relevant to the story. And what I mean by that... I just want to double check. We can't walk over this, right? Yeah. Um... So, this is part of the story of Fantasy Star 3 that we are getting the history of. All of the Fantasy Star games do take place in the same universe, but they are, like, not they're on planets in the same solar system you know up to a thousand years apart so they are not actually connected for the most part there are some very loose connections and some very specific uh character connections but it's pretty few and far between Okay, so that's a ceramic shield that we can sell also. I think that is... Well, there was one other section that I feel like I could re-explore. So we're going to wander over that way. And then I'm going to hope that all of this exploring is enough to get... We should, this should give us enough money to get a few more pieces of equipment. And from there, we should be able to... I'm hoping that we'll... Upgrading our equipment one more time. Um, which, honestly, I might go for the two ceramic males instead of... I may go for the two ceramic males instead of the axe first. Ideally, I'd like to get both. Um, we'll see how much the stuff I have sells for. Um, so, there was a path here that I don't think I took yet. And it may be nothing, and honestly, if I don't find what I'm looking for relatively soon, I'm not looking for anything specific, I'm just trying to see if there's a path I missed. So there's a good chance that I didn't. And there's our, uh, there's our reason to turn around. Yes, we are being that cheap. <laughs> Inns aren't that expensive, but uh, I do want to...
Alice, you have zero hit points. We're taking it easy for the rest of the day. Okay, so from here, we're going to sell the shield, Titan Mail, and the ceramic knife. And that might be enough. Two ceramic mails. I think we're gonna be a little short. I do think I need it. Okay. Let's... I guess let's just see how it goes. What's the worst that could happen, right? Double check my options here. Yeah, I think I want to get that last bit of grind done. So I'm going to go ahead and cut for just a moment and we'll pick back up in mile and ready to deal with the sandworm. You ever have one of those moments where you realize you haven't saved your game since you started playing several hours ago? <laughs> oh boy, you push the start button. Today I learned. Okay, so we are right outside of Mile. We're gonna head in here. You the hunters from the guild? The sandworms I've raised have grown so big the situation is getting out of hand. Please, can you do something? I won't complain whatever the outcome is. Wait, what? There we go. Okay, so I've set up some custom macros for this. So, turn one. Saner is agility up. Shift is attack up. Crosscut is going to be an attack. Galoon is going to weaken the enemy. And Grizz is just going to attack. Then we're going to get into the standard attack pattern here. Double slash vortex attack what attack. Um, it's not super fancy, but I think it's going to be the most efficient way to do damage because we need to do a lot of damage here and it's going to take a bit. Now we're totally going to be going out of order or out of macros after this on occasion. Namely, um, we need to make sure that we keep certain characters healed up. Um, 
Actually, you know what? We're going to try something a little different, cause just because I'm curious about... Well, no, it's not going to work because we're not in a macro. Never mind. So, this thing has, like, over a thousand hit points. But I think with all of our buffs that we've gotten, all of the new armor and such, I'm feeling pretty solid about where we're at. I think we're out of goodies here because so we're not going to be able to keep using macros. Everybody has different amounts of specials, which is OK. Uh, let's see how much Sue does, just because I'm curious. at the end. There's another 5,000 experience and 1,200 X or Meseta. Plus, we're going to get another 5,000 when we get back for the mission. Alice gets two level ups. Chaz gets two level ups. Gets Zahn and Anti. Han gets Girez, which is the second. Uh, it's like a Kiraga or Kira rather, second tier cure spell. And Rimpa, which is... Cure Paralysis, finally. Awesome. Riz does not learn anything. Uh, but I bet Rico will. Rico may get three levels also, yeah. Eliminate. Uh, which I believe is just an instant death effect. I was finally able to feed those sandworms successfully. The ranch, my dream. No, oh, thank you. There's no use lamenting about the past. I should make a clean break and go on to the next thing. I'll send your compensation to the guild. Pretty awesome. So that's the first side quest. We now have plenty of money, which is awesome. A little bit too late because <laughs> we just got a bunch or we just spent a bunch of money. I'm glad we resolved it before anyone got hurt. Too bad for the ranch owner, though. He seems like a person who won't be daunted for long. I'm sure he'll prosper again. OK, we're back up to 7000 Meseta. Everybody is at level 12 or 13. By the way, worth noting here, uh, Grizz, while he doesn't learn a lot of spells, does have the fastest XP curve. So uh, Grizz and Rika have a lot faster XP growth than some of the other characters, which is why they have already caught up. Okay, I'm trying to remember... I think there's one more item we can buy here. Nope. I was wrong. Cool. 
cool. So I think that covers most of our side exploration here. Um, that sandworm encounter went way better than I expected it to. Um, we having the armor and the just taking the turn to get set up before we started attacking it, I think it made a huge difference. Namely, the I, I think the agility boost is really what made the biggest difference there, because that set us up to um that set us up to go first so that we could heal as a reaction instead of having to heal preemptively. And I think that's going to be a good spot to wrap up. We'll uh, progress with the story next time. Hopefully you're enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.